The beautiful tragedy of Majora's Mask, the somber nostalgia of Termina, the swan song of the fabled hero of time, the direct sequel to the first 3D installment and the most iconic iteration of a Zelda in Ocarina of Time, it took all the same graphical elements, very similar musical motifs, and crafted a game that's the least like its predecessor, especially when compared to the two games that followed. Majora's Mask was developed in a whopping 18 months, something that started as a simple expansion for Ocarina grew into a full-fledged sequel, a pure passion project from the hands of Miyamoto and Anuma. Came one of the most unique experiences you'll find from Nintendo, a world destined to end in a mere 72 hours. Citizens of this world illustrate their fear in a way that feels authentic. Something most Zeldas severely lack is depicting a sense of dread that comes when you know your life is about to end. This is the only Zelda story that is actually destined for despair. The others are destined for the hero to triumph. Link isn't even a citizen of Termina. He just happened to stumble upon a dying world. And sadly, the only reason he ventured into the mysterious Lost Woods was in search of his invaluable friend, a true companion in Navi. Even when Link prevails and saves all the lives of Termina, he still continues his search in his never-ending Lost Woods, a place where lost souls come to wander for eternity, a place where children become skull kids, in a place where men become Slophos. Come to think of it, was this incarnation of Link a man or a child, since he did defeat Ganondorf as a grown adult. We know in Twilight Princess that he became a Stolfos in his appearance as the Hero Shade. The question is, when he re-entered the Lost Woods after saving Termina, was this the moment he met his end? With his head held much higher than before, after saving all those innocent people, he rode Epona into the light. A never-ending light, the light at the end of the tunnel, that was his tragic life. Did he accept the fate of becoming a Stolfos after losing everyone he knew and made connections with in his previous time? He didn't have anyone or anything else to live for. As he entered the light, akin to what Navi did at the end of Ocarina, her duty was fulfilled, and now, so was his. Link and Navi weren't the only ones whose journey ended with an ominous fade. The Happy Mask Salesman faded away even more mysteriously. After his obligation to get back the wicked Majora's Mask was met, he says, shouldn't you be returning home as well? Then proceeds to literally fade away from the world. Did he, in this moment, travel back to Hyrule? Or did he cease to exist once his reason for being was satisfied? just like Navi, a pawn in a much greater scheme that the gods manufactured for pure entertainment. We do know that Link settled down with someone, aka Cough Cough Baby Boo Milan, in order for the Hero of Twilight to exist. But did he ever find what he was looking for? Did he ever lay the sword to rest? He was so enamored to make sure everybody else was happy that the Skull Kid could live in peace after going down such a dark path, that Termina could carry on after being on the brink of annihilation, that Hyrule was cleansed of evil, all this to fulfill others' wishes, all this to make sure everybody else was safe. A wish from a dying Deku Tree, a wish from a princess, a wish from a mask salesman. Was he ever able to find what he was looking for, to find his own happiness, a happiness that he conjured in so many others, but never for himself. In the cryptic words of the departing Happy Mask Salesman, whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. Whether a parting be forever or merely for a short time, that is up to you. But my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. Happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the holiday, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give us some love down below. It is greatly appreciated. Remember, in a world that can be full of despair and deceit, live for what makes you truly happy. The passion will inevitably rub off on others. And as always, I hope you all stay hyped. Peace.